Bateman sparked backlash for calling the industry a breeding ground for such behavior. Jason Bateman has issued an apology for defending Jeffrey Tambor as their arrested development co-star Jessica Walker recalled him verbally harassing her on set through tears in a recent interview. Walter who plays Bluth Matriarch Lucille in the sitcom, was partaking in a group interview with Bateman, Tambor, Tony Hale, David Cross, Will Unett and Alia Shokat when she broke down remembering the incident. Instead of reassuring her, Bateman can be heard suggesting Tambor's behavior is common in the entertainment industry, deeming it a breeding ground for atypical behavior. Words spoke by Bateman, Cross and Hale, the latter of whom has also issued an apology, have since caused a backlash leading the actor to apologize in a series of social media posts. Based on listening to the neat interview and hearing people's thoughts online, I realize that I was wrong here, he wrote. I'm horrified that I wasn't more aware of how this incident affected her. He added, I'm incredibly embarrassed and deeply sorry to have done that to Jessica. This is a big learning moment for me. I deeply, and sincerely, apologize. Walter's male co-stars have drawn criticism for failing to reassure a crying co-star. Instead, they attempt to explain away the upset caused by Tambor who was fired from the lead role of TV show Transparent earlier this year following claims of similar behavior. The only person who waits in is Shukit who responded to Bateman's aforementioned comments, saying, but that doesn't mean it's acceptable. And the point is that things are changing, and people need to respect each other differently. Following the neat debacle, all UK hashtag arrested development interviews scheduled for tomorrow, including my own, have been cancelled. Netflix statement, pic.twitter.com slash yeezy. Christopher Hutton, at Christoph Hutton, May 24, 2018 Walter has since cancelled her interviews running in conjunction with the return of Arrested Development which arrives on Netflix on the 28th of May. Follow Independent Culture on Facebook Reuse content We use cookies to enhance your visit to our site and to bring you advertisements that might interest you. Read our privacy and cookie policies to find out more.